Hello, Tim here. I don't have a tip for you, but I have a new project that I'm working on. This project is called the Sonex Xenos Electric Motor Glider. So as you know, I've been a pilot for 31 years uh, over here at the airport, Pottstown, Pennsylvania. And uh, I'm burning fuel still with my 172 uh, petroleum. And I want to find out a way to uh, fly cheaper and fly with uh, no emissions or very little emissions. We actually live near a nuclear power plant, so I think it'd be technically a nuclear powered airplane. So here we go, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna build this thing. So I've been flying for 31 years on petroleum and I'm flying with my granddaughter and uh, I just feel like I wanna leave the planet better than I left it, uh, or at least try to reduce my emissions for the remainder of my life so and hand off a, a little bit cleaner planet plus uh the fact that i can save money here uh, running this airplane costs about uh, uh, sixty dollars an hour the electric xenos shown here can run for as little as three dollars an hour in electricity so there's three big check boxes that i had to go through one was looking at an article in kit plane magazine and they had a great uh, very extensive coverage of this and it looks pretty darn good. Gabriel DeVault is shown here uh, with his uh, conversion from a, a zero motorcycle. And he basically transplanted the power plant and monitoring systems into the plane. Second one was Sonics. Sonics makes, is the only one I made that makes a kit motor glider shown here at their factory. Uh, very well studied aircraft, very safe and with other uh, engines. but uh, And they are supporting this. I talked to their factory representatives at Oshkosh, and they are supporting this electric conversion. Third checkbox is zero motorcycles. They have some monsters out there that have been crash tested, water tested. I mean, you can ride these things in water, and uh, they've been studied for over ten years for the reliability, uh, heat you know, heat dissipation, and all kinds of weather. So, if you're going to pick something, I think the motorcycle market is pretty good market to go through. So I bought two motorcycles, the DSR, which has the 14 uh, kilowatt, 70 horsepower motor. And I bought another one uh, to learn one. So I'm a newbie at motorcycles and we'll be learning how to ride. And uh, so those motorcycles should be here soon. So I will actually ride this engine around before I install it in the airplane. So here's the uh, final mounted position of the electric motor. You can see there with the reed drive system and uh, battery uh, controller. Uh, it's been thermally studied, so Gabriel has uh, taken pictures of this. And the only limiting real factor of this from the 70 horsepower is the thermal characteristics. So I'll be keeping an eye on that. And uh, it all bolts in place. Uh, everything um, uh, mounts to the firewall with this kit and uh, so it's custom kit but uh, readily pretty much readily available components nothing real special including the belt drive the standard motorcycle drive so with that i thank you for listening and i'll keep you up to date on this project uh, here just uh, learning about the motorcycle realm and i hope when i'm done i'm happy as my daughter sitting in the cockpit this is similar to the way it will look when it's done I'll put a nice paint job on it, uh, probably an iPad for a display, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun. So again, thanks for listening, and please subscribe.